What is shaking YouTube? Today we are going to take a look at the newest buy metal for Magic Yo-Yo. This is the Z01 Focus. It's a competition level yo-yo at a very affordable price. Let's check it out. All right, gang. So we got the classic Magic Yo-Yo box here uh, with the Magic Yo-Yo tape right there. If you like to save these boxes, always open it from the bottom. All right, and here is the yo-yo. So it comes in all different cool colors and stuff. Magic Yo-Yo, let me pick which one I got. So I opted for this one it's like the red wine, you know, the nice deep red color with the black rims. I just thought that looked awesome. Um, here we got the all the laser engravings to zero, Z01 focus. Right there it says focus. Up top it says Z01. Then we just got all these little lightning bolt type things going around. So when I first saw this, I remember it reminded me a lot of a Wolfgang, but just like, you know, a little sharper profile. See, so kind of, it's kind of, if I was going to say anything, I'd say this is kind of if the Wolfgang and the Stealth had a baby, this would be their baby. Because it's got characteristics of both. The rings, um, they just, you, they just feel a little more like the way the Stealths are, just the weight distribution feels. The way it plays, to me, play, it plays like a lighter Stealth, but it looks more like the Wolfgang. Does that make sense to anybody? See, the Wolfgang's got some wider sections here than we do here. Um, and, the, you know, it's overall a different yo-yo. But to me, um, I've already played with it and everything. So, And then once again, you just like all Magic Yo-Yo's, you get string, you get the little thank you card, all that good stuff. And then all your little, your little instruction booklet. All right. So it does have uh, your standard concave bearing. Stainless steel axle, white pads. Now it is, is, you can see it's bead blasted everywhere except in the seat here. And that is, uh, the reason they do that is so it doesn't, uh, sometimes when you bead blast the whole thing, even the seat, it can introduce vibe to the yo-yo. This is to ensure that it's less vibey and everything. Um, so, you know, standard concave bearing, very long spinning. See, can you hear that? Still spinning. Great, great quality bearing right there. Okay, so this is actually a first-hand look at this. I'm the first one to get this. I've had it for a while, so I don't even know the specs of it. So I'm just gonna, I got a scale, I got my calipers. So here, first let's check out the width of it. So this is di these are digital calipers. Unfortunately, the batteries are dead, so I gotta read it manually. But it is 44 millimeter, wait, wait, hold on me. Yep, 44 millimeter, 40, yeah, 44 millimeters wide. Um, it has a diameter of, this is a little harder to do on here, the diameter is always a pain because you got to get it directly in the middle. Okay, the diameter looks to be 50, what is it, 55? Yeah, diameter about 55. It might be give or take half a millimeter for my calipers. And the weight, I believe it's 63 and a half, but I'll double check. So without a string, yeah, 63.5 grams. Okay, so basically, yeah, you're a lighter bimetal yo-yo. And that is really how it plays. It really plays like a fast, fast playing bimetal yo-yo. So enough talking about it all day. You guys have been looking at it. I know you're, you're excited to see me play with it. So let's throw a string on it. We're going to do 1A and 5A on here because I love this yo-yo for both of them. All right guys, we are all strung up here. And once again, I have had this yo-yo for a while now, so I can cut in a cut right to the chase, uh, tell you all the things I love about it. Now this really is like the fastest playing yo-yo in the Magic Yo-Yo lineup, at least for their bimetals anyways. Also too, because it is really light, it is great for those redirects, for throwing it back out on regenerations, anything like that. And this finish, is incredible for grinds. Yeah, but this is definitely like Magic Yo-Yo's fastest playing bimetal. And the weight to me is really perfect. I, like a little over a month ago, I had a elbow injury. If you can't tell, I'm wearing that elbow sleeve. And 
I haven't been able to throw heavier yo-yos without my arm hurting. That's why I'm wearing the elbow sleeve because it just helps with the throw of the yo-yo. And uh, but when I use a lighter yo-yo like this, you know, I, I don't. It doesn't hurt at all, and I can you know play more and stuff. So lately, I've only been yo using yo-yos like 65 grams and under, and this is like literally the perfect weight. I've been using this yo-yo so much. Now it's great also for 5A. We'll be doing a little of that in a second. But yeah, once again, this finish too is beautiful. Thumb grinds on here are no problem. Look at that. Nice, nice long thumb grinds. The yo-yo is dead smooth too. Now I haven't got an answer. I don't know what the price of this is going to be. Um, you know, obviously I'm sponsored, so I, I got it, you know, because I'm sponsored by Magic Yo-Yo. Um, but I believe it's going to be in that budget buy metal range. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's going to be somewhere around $50, give or take. Not quite sure. Somewhere around like the price of the Stealth, if I had to guess. But once again, this is all just me not really knowing. I, supposedly it's going to be a surprise. They're going to announce all this. By the time this video goes up, everything will be announced very shortly after. And uh, if I don't have it in the video, I'll add it down below in the description. Uh, also, too, uh, it can handle finger spins uh, like you guys saw in the intro, but we'll do another one. So finger spins, no problem. Really can handle anything, but you're really getting a very long spinning, stable, fast playing bimetal yo-yo. Um, so, yeah, I love this thing. I also love it for 5A. So let me go grab some dice, and we'll be right back. All right, we are all strung up here. Got a couple dice. And basically everything I said about this yo-yo for 1A could also be held true for 5A. It's just a very fast playing yo-yo, whole lot of fun, very long spinning, stable, reliable. Um, you can really, really pull off your long combos with this thing, whether you're doing 1A, 5A, 3A, whatever. Also too, it throws itself back out great. The weight is like perfect with a counterweight for tricks like this. So it's perfect balance. Also too, very like look at this, I can do this forever basically. Yeah, but just, you know, really, really fast playing. Also too, grinds are amazing, whether you're doing 5A grinds, or 1A grinds. Yeah, overall, you really can't beat this yo-yo. This um, one I was really excited about. When I first got this, I messaged Tom from Throws and Brews. I was like, dude, you gotta check out this new Magic yo-yo. And he's like, dude, I'm getting one too. So make sure to check out Tom's review on this yo-yo as well. But Magic Yo-Yo, I think you guys really did a great job at this one. I'm very excited to find out what this is going to cost, where it's going to fit into the market. Um, but I'm very glad that this is coming just in time for the holiday season. So stay tuned. I believe this is going to release on Thanksgiving Day. So just over a week of when, you're, of when this video first premieres, keep your eyes peeled. You're not going to want to miss out on this. So Magic Yo-Yo 001 Focus. This thing really stacks up the competition. And I'm overall very, very impressed. So I'll see you guys later and peace out.